Hey everybody, welcome to Wholesome Circuits and on today's episode of Wholesome FBV, we are going to be learning about one essential skill that every quadcopter pilot needs to know and that is how to get dirt out of a stuck motor. We went out this last Saturday and we had a sick flying session but landed in some dirt. And both our quads are locked up. This motor is completely stuck. So um, get a fix over here is going to teach us how we can take apart our motor safely, how to keep all the parts from flying away. Keeping those little e-clips in check. That's right. <laughs> they just spring away from you. Oh yeah. So you're going to need some tools, obviously. Prop wrench, anything to get these propellers off. Because we always work with the propellers off, even if there's no battery in it. Our first priority on every flight is safety. Um, let's start by getting one of these motors off. Now you can see you can actually get to it. And these ones, there's like three different kinds of these E-clips. These ones have this, I don't know if you can see it there. It's split, but it has these little fins. I like these because you can just do this with a X-Acto blade. And you gotta bend it out of shape a little bit, but you can always bend it back. Got so it over the top there. You just lifted that off. Yeah, you just lift it off. Another thing you're gonna wanna get, a nice fine, fine tip pair of uh, pliers. Okay. And then I just grab onto that thing and peel it right off. I see. One, two, Looks like, looks like three on here. Three little washers. Three little washers. So now, get yourself a nice pair of tweezers. And then one at a time. So does the order of these matter? I like to put them back in in the order they come off. So as I'm setting them down, I'm setting them down in order. Okay. I don't know that it matters, it's just a, it's a space that needs to be kept. Jeez, this one's hard. Yeah, and these little things so are these, really fiddly. They, they get hung up in the groove that the E-clip goes in. Ah. Uh, so you kind of got to wiggle them out. Or sometimes you can just, you know, rip them off. Even nice. if they get a little out of shape, it doesn't really matter. So you can just press them back into shape yeah. and it's all good. Just smash them back down on there. And then there's two. Maybe it will be a nice, a little bit nicer. Oh, that's it. That's just the, the bearing. All right, so, so now the, the motor and the stator, or I guess the stator and the rotor are ready to come apart. Yeah, so they're a little hard to get apart. I like to stick a fingernail in here and get uh -huh. it started. And then you just gotta wiggle it out. Eesh. And it's always wanting to there pull back. There we go. So that's what's inside a motor, huh? Oh yeah, got all your magnets in the bell. That's the bell, okay. I mean, yeah, it's the bell. That's what I call it, so. So it looks, <laughs> it looks like we have some little pieces of stuff in here. So I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but the blue epoxy or whatever you want to call it they put in there is to balance the motor. That's what I've heard as well. Because uh, I guess when uh, something is spinning as fast as one of these motors are... 35,000 RPMs or so. <laughs> yeah, so we need to be balanced, otherwise we're going to have big vibrations. So they balance each bell individually. Yeah, and you can actually see there's... So these little rocks that you see right here are actually the reason we've had to take this motor apart. So clearing it out is pretty easy. crazy look at how magnetic this piece of quartz is or i don't know i think it's quartz wow. look at that so there's enough iron in there that it's there's actually just, an, sticking. just enough iron that this thing is like <laughs> it's freaking stuck in there. that's really weird <laughs> yeah we're just gonna grab that out of there there's actually quite a bit stuck in here yeah mm. wow so it's magnetic of some kind. I don't know what it is. So what's the best way to clean them out of there? Could we use a, a piece of cloth like a... Mm, so you normally you can just get them out with your fingers. Those ones are a little hard. 
the that looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, you can take a take a rag and clean it up a lot if you care that much too. But <laughs> if she spins free, she's good for me. As <laughs> so, can we look at the stator itself? So, Oh, so each of those has a little coil on it. Oh, yeah. And that's the bearing in there? Yep. So there's a bearing on the top, and there's a bearing on the bottom. Okay. And these look like they're shielded bearings. Yep. To keep the dirt out. Yes, they are. So here, you're always going to get dirt in here. The really thing that matters is just wipe the faces off. Mm-hmm. And just, just make sure there's nothing stuck around here. We don't want any big pieces between the rotor and yeah, the stator. Yeah, no. You'll know instantly if you've done a good job of cleaning it. Let's check it. Ooh. Oh, it's still, still a little, got bit, a little chunky. bit of grinding going on. Yeah. Hmm, I see the culprit. Six hours later. All right, so you're going to put the motor back together now? Yeah. We're going to uh, start with our washers. One. Two, three, and now the E clip. Nice. There we go. She's on there. And that's that. Now she can go back together. Finally. Jeez. <laughs> Get them all started. Twenty five percent there. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do the same on the marmot over here, which has one motor that's Okay, this one is completely frozen. It just won't move at all. And I can even see some of the bigger chunks in there. So uh, let me see if I can apply what you've just taught us. So I think I've pushed it as far as I can this way. You, you should be able to push it a little further, I think. I think you're so catching me. Both of these are now exposed. Okay, so now you want to take something sharp. Can I just push it off? You can like try, this? yeah, put your finger up there so if it comes off, it doesn't shoot out of the. But you can definitely, yeah, push it into your finger. Oh, you got it? I got it. No tools. Man, wow. Fing never underestimate your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> So there is the dreaded E-clip. This looks like it's a little bit larger than the one on your motor, making it slightly easier to handle. Yeah, it's a different style for sure. The magnets want to pull it back down. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, I see this big rock in here. And look at that. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. Yikes. That's a lot of uh it's a lot of sticky. Oh my god. Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, you might want I might get you a rag. That is absolutely nasty. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. It turns out that cleaning one of these things out takes quite a long time. So take your time, be patient, make sure that it's actually properly clean. I'm going to show you an example right here of what I've got. So you can see this bell is now nice and clean. All the spaces between the magnets are clean. And that's what we want. So if our bell is perfectly clean and our stator is perfectly clean, we're ready to put this motor back together. So get your bell lined up with the bearing. The shaft will slide on, make sure it goes in nice and straight. And then the magnets will pull themselves back together. And now we'll have a nice and freely spinning motor. So uh, I'm going to get my washer back on there. 
It's nice that nice motors only have one washer instead of the Chinese ones having three washers and then a... Yeah, this one has just one thick washer. So now I'm going to try and get this, um, this E-clip back on here. Oh. So I got it kind of started, as you can see, and I think I'm going to try and push it on with this plier here. And that's on there. Very nice. All right, everybody. Today we learned how to clean up motors, and that's a skill you're going to use a lot if you fly outdoors like we do. Oh, yeah. Just, just about every time you hit sand or dirt, you're going to get stuff in there. So Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe to Hold Some Circuits and uh, see all of our new videos about quadcopter maintenance and taking care of your quads. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.